Hey, and welcome to Tutorials to You. My name is Yannick, and in this video, we will take a look at enums, well, enumerations, and how to use them in switch statements, and actually what they are good for. So, let's get started. Here I have a clean console application, and I will now set up our first enum. So usually you would do that in a separate file, but just for the sake of this video, I will do it right here after our internal class or right before our internal class. So if we want to set up an enum, you just use the enum keyword. Now let's call it days of week, for example. Now, since we know that we have seven days of the week, let's just write them down here. Let's get started with Monday. Usually you would go into the next line of code now, Tuesday, and then you follow just along until you reach Sunday. And there we go. Now, here we have our enumeration for our days of week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, this also works for a lot of other things like month or like quality settings, low, high, medium, or resolutions. Any kind of drop-down value for your game settings or whatever you can think of. Maybe user roles, admin role, whenever you have multiple options, an enum is a good way to represent that. Now, one of the greatest powers is that we can assign values for each of them. So once I hover above Monday, you can see that Monday is directly related to the integer value zero. Tuesday, as you may have guessed, is correlated to the value one. Wednesday two, Thursday three, and so on. So we could also overwrite that and say like Monday is four, Tuesday is equals to five, for example, if I now hover above that, you can see that Monday is now related to four, Tuesday to five. So we can use integers to take the days of week. We could also take the days of week enum value, which is Monday, to get the actual correlated integer. No worries, we'll get to that just in a second, but you should definitely know that you can assign integer values to each of those elements. And by default, the first value starts at zero, and then just increments with each element. Very, very important. If you are interested in C-Sharp and .NET development, go ahead and check out our C-Sharp Progress Academy, which is a self-paced online course that teaches you advanced C-Sharp, ASP.NET, Angular, unit testing, and even C-Sharp software design patterns. We offer a 40-day money-back guarantee, and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a C-Sharp developer. So please go ahead, check out the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, go ahead and subscribe right now because you are interested in getting notified when we release new C Sharp and .NET related content because you want to become an awesome C Sharp software developer, right? So now our enum is set up right here. Now let's take a look on how you can actually use it. Let's first of all create a variable which is of type days of week. This is pretty much exactly how our enum is named, right? Days of week was the name of our enum. So we create a variable which stores that enum value. Day equals to, let's say days of week. So we again access our enum just like a class and then we can take like kind of its properties or all of the days of week, so to speak. So Monday, Friday, Saturday, and all of that. Let's just take Monday. Well, this is how you can create a variable of your new enum type, awesome. Now let's create a switch statement, which is what you see pretty often. Let's create a switch of day, right? So whatever that is, now we can use autocomplete here, case days of week Monday. So if we say it's Monday, we can just hop into the next line of code. Let's just make a console write line entry right here. We could say it's Monday. And in any other case, we for sure need to break here, in any other case, we could say default console write line, it's not Monday, right? So afterwards we can break again. Awesome, now let me just put that into the next line of code. Okay, so basically you get the idea, right? If it's Tuesday, we could also add a case and all of that, so no problem, great. So this is basically how you could say like, okay, if I have like whatever graphic settings for my game applied, I will right here handle that quality settings. I would go like, okay, increase the quality, or if it's low, decrease the quality or whatever. I think you get the idea. So enums are pretty often used for any kind of settings or well, situations where you have to choose a specific option, a specific role or whatever. Now, let me just give you an idea. When you save that into a database, for example, so you want to save like what day of week it was, or you want to save the quality settings of the game, 
you won't be able to save that complex object days of week Monday, right? It's a complex data type, it's an enum, and there's a lot behind it. But it would be easier to just go ahead and save that correlated integer. So instead of saving days of week Monday, you would simply take zero and afterwards read that from the database and convert it back. And this is where we now have to cover the topic of casting to an integer and from an integer. And this is really what you need to know about enumerations. So if we have a days of week again here, let's call it like day uh, two, because we already have a day variable. Let's say it is like Saturday. Now Saturday is, if we have above that, equals to the integer value five. So if we want to have that integer value, we simply create an integer variable if we want to store it, right? Day as int, let's say equals to integer simple cast day two. Now that will take our day two variable right here, which is equals to Saturday, convert it or cast it into an integer. And finally, we will see day as int. And let's just hit, uh, write that into the console. Let's just uh, put that here, day as int. There we go, let's just start that. And we should be able to see five. Awesome, so there we go. Ignore the first one, that's just from the first part. So here we have our five. Now, if we wanna convert that back, let's say, okay, we, we take that five and now we save it into the database. Well, let me just get rid of that switch and all of this, pretty sure you know that. Let me just remove that day two so that we only have like one variable, awesome. Now let's do it the other way around. Let's imagine that we are reading that value, that five from the database. So it was like last online ID equals to five. Okay, now we're reading that from the database and we don't wanna show like, hey, you were last online on five. No, we wanna show you were last online on Saturday, not on five. So in that way, we again create the days of week object. Let's say last online, just to give it a little bit more context. And now we are casting again into our days of week but we cast the other way around, we cast the integer. So let's take our last online ID, right? Which is five. We try to cast five into days of week and five right here is Saturday. It's correlated to the integer value five. And afterwards, last online will be five. So if we just lock that into the console, console write line, and we simply write down last online, which is that one, I'm just um, highlighting it so that you definitely know what I'm talking about. And if we hit start now, you can see, okay, Saturday, right? You were not online on five, you were online last Saturday, for example. Alrighty, so basically, this is how you use an enum. You can create the enum just like that. You can assign your own integer values. We could also say Monday is 10. So if you have any specific number which is important to be correlated to that enum value, go ahead and assign it. You've seen how you can create a variable from it how to use it in a switch statement and how we can cast it into an integer and from an integer back into our enum data type. So that's it for this video. I hope that you've learned something new. If you like this video, give it a thumb up and subscribe to our channel. And if you really wanna boost your C-Shop skills, go ahead and check out our C-Shop Progress Academy. Thanks for watching and have a good one.